What is up my Broviaries? Welcome back to Playcrastination Population 152. Today we are back Playcrastinating with some more Pokemon Uranium. For those of you who didn't see the last episode, honestly it's been so long. I don't even remember what we did last episode. I'm apparently not on the correct screen. Let us redo that. There we go. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do a quick team recap for you guys. Uh, last time, what did we do? Made it through the cave. That's point one. We explored Nautok City. Uh, and we're pretty much ready to go get our first gym badge, I think. We may lose, but it's not a Nuzlocke, so that doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and look at the team. Uh, we have Bear Rule here, Steel Rock type, with, how do I even check your moves? Tackle Harden, Mud Slap. We have Chai and Monk, level 5, with Growl and Tackle. We have Burby, uh, with, I think it's normal flying type, with Gust Flash, Growl, Quick Attack. We have our Cubug, level 5, with Charm, Tackle, String Shot. We have our starter Elatux with Tackle, Tail Whip, Water Gun, and Defense Curl. And finally, we have Grozard, the pure ground type with Scratch and Sand Attack. So, as far as levels go, uh, not the greatest, like, evenly spread team that we've ever had. However, this first gym is normal type, so I figure, oh, there's some things going on there. I figure we should be good enough, like in a decent enough spot to to take on the gym leader and just go for it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fight her. Hi again, so I don't think we were ever properly introduced. What's your name? Brush? I like it. Welcome to, I don't. Welcome to the Nautox City Pokemon Gym. I'm Maria, normal type specialist. But you know that already. Of course, most folks know me as Maria, champion of Tandor. Those days of my life are over now. This music is lit. Now, I supervise young trainers like you on their way to greatness. It's a long, difficult battle all the way up to the champion. Have you got what it takes? Your very first test in the Tandor League begins now. All right. It's legit. Okay, we're going to be fighting Maria, leader Maria. It's going to start with an Outen. Her first Pokemon's level 10, but we have a bear rule, which means there's absolutely nothing this guy can do. I'm actually just gonna like, foresight. You can foresight me all you want. I'm just gonna harden a couple times because bear rule is pretty much gonna become an impenetrable fortress. Really wish he's rock steel. I really wish he knew a rock type. Uh, we'll just go for it. I'm pretty sure like these things are gonna do like one damage anyway. They do literally one damage. So, oh, I didn't buy potions, did I? At the very least, we have a bunch of, like, this game gives you, like, 97 Oran Berries for some reason. So this guy can continue doing one damage. We'll just Oran Berry up repeatedly. It's gonna, like, be... Oh god, I almost tipped over my Arnold Palmer. Rest in... Meow. We got a Felang in here. Uh, I think this is probably still, if I had to guess, just still a normal type? Oh no. It's one of these normal types though. It's a yawner. It's a tired little felling, which actually is gonna prompt me to switch into, I really just don't wanna deal with this, uh, a sleepness. So I'm actually just gonna go straight into Elotux. If you're gonna yawn again, you're gonna scratch. How much is that gonna do to Elotux? Like five, like eight. Eight is fine because we're a couple levels up on you, which means I feel decent water gunning. Maybe two of these will take you out from here. Yeah, easily two will take you out from here. Do we let Elotux fall asleep? I think we just let Elotux fall asleep. And of course we see a potion. Why am I so dumb? I didn't think he was going to be low enough to use a potion, but he is. And it's going to take three from here. And we are now Z, 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 Z. I don't know why Z's were the letter that was chosen to signify sleeping. We're asleep. Because if you think about it, like, the only thing I can think of is when you're sleeping is, like, snoring. But that is like a... There's no, like, my mouth did not... Yeah, you've been staticked. Thunderstruck. I've, uh, that, like, never really, like, I don't think of the letter Z when I think of that. Medicine. I did buy potions. I did buy potions, which is fine. We'll just potion up Elotux. And hopefully this man gets fully paralyzed. He does not. He gets some scratch off. Uh, healed there just in case we fit, take a crit, uh, because I don't feel like, I mean, I think we honestly could tank the rest of this, uh, with, with bear rule, but I really don't feel like it. You are fully paralyzed and can't move. Don't even think about getting a yawn off. We're now faster than you, so we're going to water gun you. And you're gone. Question of the day. I'm wearing an old, an oldie, but a goodie in terms of shirts. Can you see the logo? It's a Domino's pizza shirt. It was my first job when I turned 16. Oh, we're finally learning a thunder move. Yes. 
Thundershock. Even though it's just Thundershock, which isn't fantastic, we are going to learn it anyway. Um, and your Outen is going to get absolutely wrecked by Elatux now. Um, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Thundershock. Goodbye. Goodbye, Outen. What level? Wait, so do you have three Pokemon or just these two? You just have two level 10s. I imagine you have like one more like level 14. Ba-bing. Elatux is going to take down the Outen. Who's your last Pokemon? Burby? Felunge. Felunge. We will take on Felunge. Ooh, okay. You have a great future ahead, but what about now? Okay, uh, level 12, we're still ahead of it. Yawn is gonna happen because it is a pretty little kitty. But yeah, so I worked at Domino's for two years, and so while I was there, I got to try like pretty much every combination of pizza under the sun that you can imagine. So I want you guys, question of the day, to tell me what is your favorite kind of pizza? And I want, I want all the dirty details. I want type of crust, type of sauce, type of cheese, toppings. I want every possible thing. Light sauce, no sauce, freaking well done. How do you like it done? Tell me everything there is to know. We're just gonna like drop this thing's accuracy. Ooh. Allow me to take a drink out of annoyance. Um, but yeah, tell me literally your favorite pizza. If you could have one, only one kind of pizza for the rest of your life, you can even tell me the place it's from. Uh, mine is gonna sound really weird, and so when you hear it, I don't want you to, like, gag or anything. It's a, it's a strange combination, I understand. So, Domino's, hand toss crust. That's, that's the start. What's this gonna do, like, 11? Nah, we can live. We can live. We can live. It's Thundershock. I think, oh, my gentle Jesus. Um, I was gonna say, I think... Uh, Water Gun might actually be stronger than Thundershock, but we can finish it off right here. We can finish it off right here. You don't have a potion as long as we don't get critically hit. We don't get critically hit, and this Thundershock is going to take out the Felunge. The Felunge. And that's going to be a gym badge for us. I think 181 experience points. Varul's going to go to level 9. We defeat leader Maria. She's not even standing on the circle. There, that's the fighting spirit I wanted to see. You're deserving of this normal badge. What a cool, exciting name for a, for a badge. Congrats. I gotta say, the spirit you showed in battle, you reminded me of when I was just starting out. Try and hold on to that determination, and I'm sure it will take you far. Also, take this TM2. We obtained TM27. It contained return. Put in the TM in his pocket. As you travel together with your Pokemon, the bond between you will grow stronger. The deeper your friendship, the more powerful the return is in battle. TMs are infinite use. So feel free to teach it to as many Pokemon as you like. Nearly all of them can learn this one. It was fun battling you, Brosh. Good luck on your journey. Well, thank you so much, Maria. We're going to go ahead and exit on out of here, and I imagine we'll get, like, a phone call pretty shortly. I would imagine we would get a phone call pretty shortly, being like, hey, yo, here's your next task. Here, I'm the professor. This isn't the Pokemon Center. We're going to go heal up real quick. Okay, favorite pizza. Domino's hand toss crust with the garlic crust on it. Mm, good. Alfredo sauce. Provolone cheese pepperoni and pineapple first of all dude i could literally just make the question of the day what is your opinion of pineapple on pizza because it gets enough people riled up in their jimmies that we could probably get a decent freaking comment section going just based <laughs> i thought i'd run into you still feeling all high and mighty just because you got the stronger starter i bet you tried to beat the gym leader and she crushed you what? You won? No way, I'm supposed to beat her first, it isn't fair. Well, it doesn't matter because when I beat you, it'll prove that I'm stronger than both you and the gym leader. Don't expect to win just because your starter's got the advantage. All right, we're gonna fight little Alan here. Just kidding, his name is Theo. He got the Michael Jordan way of style, and he's just like shooting a gun at me, that is, dude, triggered. Um, that is gross. He has a couple fly, which I I mean we can safely assume is the evolved form of uh, of Cubug, Fairy Wind. Does that mean it's a fairy type? Uh, we can safely assume this is the evolved form of Cubug. It looks like it. It just got shrouded by some leaves. Um, but um, yeah, what what am I trying to say here? Uh, tell me a question of the day. It's not just, do you like pineapple and pizza? It's, what's your favorite pizza? Like I said, mine sounds a little gross if you haven't tried it. But I highly recommend Alfredo sauce, provolone cheese, pepperoni, and pineapple. It's a weird combo, but it somehow works. I can't really 
explain it in words. So I'm going to do it in interpretive dance instead. That, nope, don't, don't, nope. We're going to avoid any more interpretive dances that, well, that's a strange looking mouth. We're going to avoid any more interpretive dances that may look inappropriate. Uh, and drink this instead. And we're also going to use a potion. Dude, we can catch. Now that we have the first gym badge, we can go get a freaking fishing rod. And we can go fishing for some four togs. And uh, also, I think we can catch Magikarp too. So if we could just like continue this world's longest battle and maybe get it done as soon as possible, I would appreciate that four damage each time. That's probably about how much we're doing to you. Berul, when Berul finally earns a rock move, this is also going to be, once we catch four tog, I believe that's going to be our 10th, whoa. I believe that's going to be our 10th Pokemon, which, if you remember, means that, don't kill me, please. I went through a lot of work to get this barrel to the point where it could kill you. Please take it out on this turn. Please don't leave it at one. Yes! It's not even going to get us to the next level, but it is a decent amount of experience. None. Really decent amount of experience. Raptorch is going to come out next, which means we will just send out our lovely starter. Um, once we catch Fortog, I believe that'll be our 10th Pokemon that we've technically caught, uh, which should mean that we can talk to the professor and he can give us a rare candy. And then from here on forward, I can use the cheeky. Is Raptorch going to turn into a fire dragon? Because that's scary. Because um, then it loses that water weakness. Oh, but right now it's still pretty darn weak to lovely H2O. Eltox is going to not grow the next level. I almost dropped Arnold Palmer all over me. <laughs> no, not even my new Pokemon can help me. You caught one, man. You caught one new Pokemon. No fair brush picking on me like that. You're a meanie. Sniffle? Well, whatever. The professor told me to give you this. Just take it, okay? We get HMO6, which is Rock Smash. I'm going to go challenge the gym. Next time you battle, I'll beat you. Don't think you'll get lucky. So we do get Rock. We do... Huh, there's a letter attached to the HM. Dear Brosh, Theo was lingering around town after you left, and I realized I wanted to give you both this. It's a HM, or it's or hidden machine that contains a move which can be learned by Pokemon. Teach it to one of yours, and it'll be able to smash apart cracked... Smash apart. <laughs> smash apart cracked rocks. I thought it was like smashed apart cracked, and I'm like, what's an apart crack? Um, it sounds like drugs that are produced in an apartment. Anyway, actually, I was wondering if you could come back to Mogi Town after you get your first badge. I want to see how your Pokemon have grown. Professor Bombo. Better head back to Monkey Town. Okay, we will. We will. First, I want to teach somebody Rock Smash. Just so that we can have it. Just so that we can have it. I love the pink text. Not afraid to freaking go for it. Uh, we'll teach it to Bear Rule. Bear Rule is going to be our Rock Smasher. And now we will go ahead and continue down this route. And go back to uh, Monkey Town, which is going to be a pretty far walk. But on the way, we can pick up a lovely... We could pick up a lovely fishing rod from Route 1 and start going a little fishing. Is there anything in there? I'm trying to remember if there's anything in the cave for us to rock smash. I don't think there was. Um, we should probably heal very quickly just to be safe. Just to be safe. Uh, we should probably also like switch out um, Elitux back to the first slot because we're going to be catching four togs. Four togs are water types. I don't really feel like watching Barul get drenched and just, just get destroyed. Um, so we'll heal up these Pokemans and we'll continue down to where are we going now route three I guess technically we'll be on the way too because like Moki Town is weird because it's like there's a route to the left and the right they've never had a starting town that looks like that well I mean argue excuse me we're in the forest nope we're on route one. Oh wait rock smash rock smash we can finally get these items and we're also gonna have some trainer battles as well but yeah tell me your favorite pizza and tell me for your pizza place. Like, that's my favorite pizza because I worked at Domino's for so long. But my favorite, like, actual type of pizza, like, pizza place. I didn't even read what he said. Probably. Where can I get this manky, man? I really want a manky. Probably. Is it Domino's? I don't know. Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizzas are, like, ridiculously good. And I didn't use, like, Pizza Hut, but they stepped up their game with the whole, like, they copied Domino's with the whole you could put a flavor on the crust type of thing. That's a big deal to me. Crust is, like, especially if you're going to get thick crust, crust is such a majority of the pizza, it needs to taste good. And so, oh, you've been static, boy. So, I'm glad they, like, have improved their pizzas over the years, but 
Um, maybe Pizza Hut Stuffed Crust could potentially be the favorite. Could be the fan favorite. Eltex is going to go to level 14. You're about to send in a Tonemi. Ugh. We got nothing to really hit this. Oh, just kidding. I forgot your part flying, which means we absolutely have something to hit this. You freaking stole the, the Zubat sound effect. We're going to get smogged, but we're not going to get poisoned. And we're going to take out... Whoa, you're not flying type? I feel like I would have remembered that you weren't flying type. I also feel like you really should be... Should be flying type. Hopefully this can take him out here. It does a critical hit. But we did sustain some poison. We sustained some poison. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to deal with this poison now, aren't we? Oh, please tell me we have an antidote. My aunt named Dote. Yes, we do. We have an antidote. Thank you so much. We're gonna heal up Elotux. No, 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 please, please, please. No longer suffering from poisoning. We're gonna continue on this route. Oh, we got a fisherman. He's gonna have some water types, I bet, which means we can blast these fiends. You have Magikarp? You got level 12 Magikarp, though. How come, though? It doesn't really matter. Did this sound off to you there? Did Elotux's voice sound deeper there? We got a puberty going through Elotux right now, but that's okay. I love Magikarp's whiskers. They seem longer in this game for some reason. Not that whisker size matters, but I'm, like, noticing them a lot more now that it's massive. Uh, he's going to send in a Fortog. Have we seen... Other than the starter, have we seen a single ground type yet? I mean, grass type in this game yet? Don't, yeah, you can pound me all you want. Just don't you dare try to do some stupid poison shenanigans. Hopefully we can catch this Vortog and then go visit the uh, gym man. Gym man? His name is Jim. Hopefully we can visit uh, Bombo. He needs some more water Pokemon. Hook him up in my Pokepod. You've been Pokepotted up. We found one super potion. Cool. Can we find Pokemon in the rocks? That's the real question. I guess if we did, they would all be Berul. But is that like a thing that can happen? This one seems like it's hiding an item. So we should we should check here. We should check for a hidden item here. Is there, there's no hidden item here. Okay, I, I stand corrected. We got an old lady. There are a lot of trainers on this route. Ladies can be good trainers as well. Is this my auntie? Is this my antidote? It's expert... Gertha. Gertha. I don't care what century it is. Why would you name your child Gertha? Oh my gosh. I'm naming my daughter Gertha. I'm naming my son Gertha. My son will get all the ladies if his name is Gertha. Um, Ella Tux is almost going to go to the next level. We're going to send a Chian Monkey. You know what? Actually, no. I was going to give somebody else some experience, but knowing that A, I really just want to get through this as quick as possible, and also knowing that B, uh, we're about to get some rare candy, hopefully from the professor. Yo, do you know an electric move yet, Chine Monk? I feel like you may learn an electric move soon. Um, but you know, knowing that, we don't really need to train. That's a creepy white van that just drove outside my window. I am not ready to go yet. Um... You've been static, boy. Uh, we're not going to be able to take this thing out in one hit, so hopefully we don't get critted. Because uh, I'd really like Elotux to grow to level 15. I assume we're getting, like, darn close. Yeah, you fully paralyzed. I assume we're getting really close to seeing the evolution. If it's if it follows the typical 1636 route. Which, it doesn't necessarily have to. I oh. Elotux grew to level 15. Maybe it'll evolve at 15. Nope. Um, I freaking, like, bit my tongue earlier, and you know how once you bite it, it swells up a little bit, and then for the rest of the day, you can't stop biting it? It's happening to me, except it's even worse because I talk while I, like, while I'm, like, I'm, I mean, it's pretty obvious I'm talking right now, and so while I'm talking, every time my, my teeth in the back come down to talk, it's just, like, chomping down on my tongue. Do not poison sting me. If you poison me, thank you so much, Fortog, for not doing that. We would have had, like, a serious bone to pick with you. Elotux might be 16 by the end of this episode. I really don't know. About to send another Fortog. I don't know if you can see, like, the little, um... The little, like... There's, like, parts of the experience slider that are darker than others. I don't know if that's just an aesthetic effect to make it look cool. Or if it actually means... Oh, 
I would love to give you a certain finger right about now. Right about now. The middle finger. Check it out now. It means screw you so much. Um, Eltox is still poisoned. And we know that we have no more. We do have a full heal. Do we have any Petra Berries? We have one Petra Berry, so we might as well just use the Petra Berry. I used my last Petra Berry. That is okay, because we also have a... We'll just use regular potions, and we'll just heal you up right there you go. Heal you up. Don't use that last one, because there's no reason to use a potion on just one. And we're almost done. Oh my gosh, there are still more trainers on Route 1. I should be playing with friends instead of being here all day. I ask this question all the time. Who pays these trainers to just stand still in certain freaking areas? Can we talk about how Elatux is the best starter? Because it learns both water and electric moves, which thus far has uh, pretty much all we've seen are flying types, which we wreck, and also we static it. We've seen rock types, which we wreck. We've seen ground types, which we wreck. We've seen water types, which we wreck. Literally all of the early game stuff we wreck. My question is, when are we going to see a darn grass type? Have we seen a single grass type yet, other than the starter, whose name eludes me? Or or Orchinks? Or Orchinks? Orkinks? Whatever his name was. I think that's the only grass type Pokemon we've seen in this entire game. You're about to send in a bear rule. Again, we just wreck everything, unless she's going to use, like, Earthquake or something. We just wreck everything in this game. You're lucky you have Sturdy, my friend. You tell me that wasn't even sturdy though? He seems pretty sturdy. Oh, BB8, what are you doing today? What are you doing today, buddy? How you been? Good? You excited for the next movie? Yeah, me too. Anyway, before I delve even further into insanity, I saw I'm sorry if like I seem off. I am running on so little We don't even need the professor. We get a rare candy on this route, which means starting next episode, we can do... Nope, no, nope, nope. Which means starting next episode, we can actually do some rare candy and shenanigans, uh, which is like pretty dope in my book. I'm pretty down for some rare candy shenanigans. Even rare candy shenanigans. That should be the name of a band. Um, even if it means, you know, like maybe some dishonesty in terms of whatever. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take this fishing rod. Yes, I'm a strong kid. We get the old rod. Okay. The music played for too long there. We're going to use the old rod and hopefully catch a Fortog. Hopefully in this game, I don't think they'd make it so that old rod can only catch... Yo, where's the old rod though? There it is. Uh, we're going to use the old rod. I don't know how the fishing system in this game works. Is it like in, as soon as you got something on the hook, you got to click it? All right, not even a nibble. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Can we just like register this? I don't know the button to... I don't know the button to quickly use something though, so that doesn't actually help me in any way, shape, or form. A bite. We landed a Pokemon. Who's it going to be? It's going to be our 10th Pokemon nonetheless. We get a Magikarp right off the bat. Level 6. I don't think Magikarp gets a new evolution, so, uh, we're probably just gonna, like, murder this thing, unfortunately. Yeah, this isn't good. We're just gonna kill it. Unless you are very strong. He's pretty darn strong. For a dude who can only splash, I'm pretty proud of him. We'll go ahead and throw a Pokeball at this Magikarp. Mm. Man. Arnold Palmer. I was on a green tea kick last week. This week's Arnold Palmer. I'm just going through the tea family. Eventually, I'm gonna be at something that's actually healthy for me, but probably not. I'm thinking about starting to do like a counting calories type of thing, but also that's a lot of work. I don't really feel like it. Magikarp's the fish Pokemon. Its swimming muscles are weak, so it easily washed away by currents. In places where water pools, you can see Magikarp deposited there by the flow. It's just a, just a gross way to, to, to say that. Now, the question is, what button is quick... What button is qu quick hotkey? Z? Shift? B? None of these buttons are quick hotkey. Caps lock. Alt. Again, yeah, no, nothing is the, the quick hotkey, so maybe I have to uh, designate it as a hotkey itself. I believe this fisherman said we could catch Fortog here, or somebody said that. I seem to remember somebody saying 
we could catch four tog here and i know we already have a water type on the team in elitux but i'd like to diversify that yeah not so much though i'd like to diversify that with another one i'll do a couple more fishing things and then i'll i'll like i'll catch like two more things and if they're both magikarp then we'll just like give up on our dreams for now we can come back eventually it's not like okay if you want to be like that it's not like oh i'm gonna explode it's not like if we don't it's not like if we don't catch a four tog right here right now that we're never gonna get a four tog so we shouldn't think like that shouldn't think like oh a bite it's gonna be a four tog it's gonna be just another magic card i really hope they didn't go back to the magic carp only from the old one because that's not that exciting uh, we'll do one more. We'll do one more before I finish wasting your good people's time. Uh, and we'll see what we can land on this last draw. Last draw. Make it a flush. Sounds like a Magikarp. Okay, well, you know what? Out of anger, we're just going to make sure this Magikarp never gets to go home to its family. We're going to go ahead and finding Nemo this situation and uh, do this. Dude, sick story about finding Nemo. Finding Nemo was the movie when I was a kid. Um, I was like, I guess I've been like 10 or 11 and I was about to get all of my baby teeth pulled because I was about to get braces and they're like, it's kind of a pain in the butt when you have braces, but you still have baby teeth because then you have a brace on a tooth and then the tooth could fall out, but it'll just be stuck hanging there. Bambo, how's it going, buddy? Ah, Brush, you made it. Good, good. Why don't you follow me back to the lab? We have a lot to discuss, but I really wanted to fish in Mogitown, okay? First of all, I want to congratulate you on get oh wait, he had like a cool man voice. First of all, I want to congratulate you on getting your first gym badge. I think it's a great idea that you take the Tandor Gym Challenge. Who knows how many sites you'll see and new kinds of Pokemon you'll meet along the way. If you plan to get all eight badges, the next gym is in Baroli. That sounds like something I'd order at a Mexican restaurant. Is in Baroli Town to the east. Now that you have Rock Smash, you'll be able to crush those boulders blocking the path. But that's not the only reason I brought you here. Tell me, how's your Pokedex coming along? Long. It's important for my research to Pokemon elements that you try and fill it as much as possible. Hmm. Should be 10. So you've seen 17 Pokemon and caught 10 of them. I hope you'll keep collecting Pokemon and filling out your Pokedex. If you catch a certain number of Pokemon, I'm sure I can find some way to reward you as well. Here, this should certainly help you with that. Pokeballs. What about that rare candy, though? The worst thing is when you see a new Pokemon and you go to catch it, but you realize you're out of Pokeballs. This should help with that. There's so many more Pokemon species in Tandor for you to discover. Best of luck on your adventure. Hello. Please evaluate my per per Perkadex. I heard at 10 you give me a rare candy. Yay! Yeah, 10 he gives me rare candy! When you catch 20 Pokemon, come speak to me and I'll give you a special reward. Okay. Well, at the very least, we now have the rare candies necessary to do our rare candy shenanigans that I talked about. So next time we'll have uh, probably like 99 rare candies in the bag. And hold on, if we could just go ahead and do one quick little fishing to end this episode off. Excuse me? Can't use this here? What's the point of having a lake then? Um, next time, like I said, we will do some rare candy shenanigans. Elitux is way too high a level as it is right now. So what we're gonna do is not look in the bag instead we're gonna look at our pokemon we're gonna get all these guys up to about level 10 12 maybe um i imagine we'll see some evolutions we know that cub bug evolves at least before level 10 because we saw theo had one so we'll get to see that cubble fly or whatever its name was and who knows when the rest evolve maybe they will evolve maybe they won't but anyway i'm gonna end this episode here Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. Join the flock of Broby bro Join the flock of Burbies and I will see you guys next time.